Okay, so I figured I might as well do a short apartment tour. I haven't really gotten much in the way of furniture or anything yet. But, uh, ah, well, I'm getting impatient. And I figured I might as well make this video. Um, just got back about a, mm, 45 minutes ago from buying some, well, my refrigerator and a few other things. So it's a little more comfortable. I don't have to sit on the floor now. Well, kinda. Uh, uh, let's see. Right now I'm in my kitchen. I'll show you how. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's my door. See, it's a door. And there's a little mail slot. A little window above the door. A little spy hole. And then got the little inches area. You take off shoes, put your shoes there. Shoes, 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 shoes. And a bunch of stuff about, you know, trash and how to throw away trash, which is the most complicated in the thing in the world. Throwing away trash in Japan. My huge ass sink in the kitchen. Oh, yes, this is my kitchen. You can see I got a, quite a mess going on here. Uh, Got a bunch of pet bottles. I haven't got any pet bottle bags, so I uh, haven't been able to put them away. Uh, there's my little stove that I bought. I didn't, the apartment didn't come with a stove, so I just bought a little cheap uh, portable gas stove. So it has a little can of gas. And this was only uh, 1900 yen, so it was like about 20 bucks. And the little gas cans are like three dollars for three or something like that basically so it's cheap it's cheaper than or easier than having the gas guy come out and have a no cup of you know big stove and I can buy a microwave that has a little grill in it later it's kind of what I plan on doing so I'm not using the little fish grill or anything that come with the big stoves ah uh, there's my hood with the light the little fan sucks out all the stuff the smoke and stuff Here's my brand new refrigerator. Well, it's not brand new. I got it at the secondhand store for one mon. There, one hundred dollars. And see, it's not very full. Sports drink and a few beers. And little freezer. I like that little drop-down freezer. You can see I got plenty of storage. Pretty big kitchen. Uh, big tall shelves. There. For storage that I can't even reach. I don't see how the average sized Japanese person could reach without maybe a ladder. <laughs> okay. And here is the bathroom. That's the little spot where my washing machine will go. Uh, another ALT has one that he is going to sell me. He's living with a host family, so he doesn't need us. And yes, that is a plug. A plug that goes into the wall and is attached to some kind of heating device that will keep the pipes from freezing during the winter because it gets kind of cold here. Well, pretty cold here. Uh, this over here is the door to the toilet room. Yes, the toilet room. The room containing nothing but the Toilet. Yes, and as you'll see, there's another pipe with a plug that will plug in right there during the winter to keep it from freezing. And see, there's my full full view of the fairly large kitchen. I might get a little table put there, but I don't know. I don't think I'll be doing much eating in here because during the winter, my heat is on the other side of those doors, and this will probably be closed off to keep the heat in the other room and keep the electricity bill down. And this is my one of my favorite things probably about this apartment. This is the wet room. The giant freaking showers. Well you see I've got my towel hanging up here because I don't have anywhere else to hang it. Big freaking bathroom shower. Stand there shower or you can get one of those little stools and sit and shower, Japanese style, and that big, giant, deep soaking tub. 
which is great. I haven't tried it, but I've, the shower is nice, nice and warm. <laughs> and it's very, very roomy. I guess that's that. It's got a little fan built in there. And of course, right off the kitchen, this door with the privacy glass. It always bumps to the other one. Uh, this is my second room, which I'm currently using as my sleeping room. As you see, there's my futon folded up over there in the corner. I have to fold it up every day and put it away. I normally put it over here in this giant freaking closet, which is a current giant mess. Because, well, I haven't found a place for everything, or found a place where I'm gonna put everything organized. So, yeah, it's been like that for a couple days. <laughs> I've barely been in my apartment. I've only been, been here to really just sleep aside from today. Today was probably the longest day I've been in this apartment. But yes, there's my futon. Yes, my pretty floral pink futon. It is very comfortable. And if you're asking about the pretty, pretty pink floral futon, it was on sale. Very cheap. Very. It was half the price of the other futons. So instead of spending a mon, I mean, 100 own just a futon that didn't include the comforter top. I spent fifty dollars and got the futon and the comforter. And there's my big pillow that was really cheap. And there's my MacBook that I despise. And my old Japanese textbook where I've been studying some kanji. Water bottle, of course, tablet. And the alarm clock. Oh yes, the very old American alarm clock. And apparently because the way the electricity works here, it's on uh, 50 something, I forget what it is, instead of 60 in like the US, and where if this is a very alarm, old alarm clock, it doesn't have any kind of computer chip, it would count the cycles on, with the electricity. And 60 cycles a minute in the US, so it keeps 60 seconds a minute. But here, 50 cycles a minute. So, every minute it falls 10 seconds behind. So, it doesn't keep time here. <laughs> so I've been using my cell phone that is out of service, of course, because it's my US cell phone. It is an alarm clock. And of course it's set on US time, so I have to account for the time difference setting up my alarm. So I set it to go off at like uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon US time, and it wakes me up at 6 o'clock in the morning here. So. That's kind of a <laughs> pain, but I'm going to be getting an alarm clock tomorrow, hopefully. Going to the 100 yen store and buying a bunch more stuff, like plates and stuff. This, right here, of course, is my third entrance to my third room. My third room in here. With my two little seats that I bought tonight. My fan that I used to blow the cool air from the aircon into this room when I'm sleeping. My other giant freaking closet. Yes. For some reason it is either missing a door or it was designed so the middle never closes. Which is kind of weird. See, it only... Both doors closed. Giant freaking opening. I think I might just be missing a door. I'm gonna find out sometime. I really don't give a crap, but... Eh. See, a little notebook stuff where I was taking notes earlier my suits, and see, and all my little button-up shirts, and pants, and ties, ties, ties. I'm wearing those a lot. I wear, I wear a lot of those. I like wearing ties. I like wearing, I like dressing. Uh, as you see, there's my new little desk. Well, not desk, new little table that I'm going to use as a TV table when I get a TV. A little TV. Uh, TVs are expensive. Go to the sec uh, I saw a few at the second hand store that I'm tempted to get, but maybe not until the first paycheck comes in. Let me see my big Alienware that I'm currently going It has a coaxial input for cable. I just bought a coaxial cable and I'm going to hook it up to the antenna here and see if I can watch some NHK or something because I'm getting tired of staring at the wall. I do not have an internet connection or a reliable one. Uh, there's a public one that uh, I connected to up until yesterday. 
and it dropped off the map, and I haven't been able to connect. So, yeah, I'm sure that uh, a <laughs> few people are wondering where the heck I am, and that's, well, you'll find out when I post this, and probably, hopefully, within the next couple days. I'm not sure what I'm doing my own internet. I know what I, uh, that I am inheriting the internet of the other ALT uh, a couple doors down. He's getting a cell phone, and doesn't really use the internet, for, uh, I guess, for anything but, like, email or something, so he won't need it. So he's getting a smartphone. And since he's still under contract, they're going to just switch the contract to this apartment because the contract is evidently under the company's name. So I will, and he says it is very, 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 very fast, which is good. And I just hear my rice cooker going off, my brand new rice cooker. It's telling me my rice is done, and since I can't read kanji, I'm really, really hoping that I pushed the right button when I started that thing. Otherwise, my rice might not be very nice. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll have internet soon. Get these videos posted. You see I'm a little sweaty. I've been carrying that fridge in and moving stuff around in here. <sighs> Fun day. It's like uh, almost 11 o'clock night here, so 10 o'clock in the morning. U.S. at home. Uh, hmm. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I don't have anything to do training-wise. I'm actually riding with a new, another new ALT. I'm gonna ride around with him, help him um, find the good, the best routes to his schools. I don't even know where, but one of my schools is right now. I get taken to them Monday or Tuesday. They're gonna uh, one of the. Uh, people's going to take me and show me where all my schools are and hopefully introduce me to my the JTE of my junior high. Um, they weren't there when we went by yesterday. I didn't really get much done just besides seeing where that first school is. <sighs> hmm, what else? Well, that's pretty much it. Um, going to the 100 yen store tomorrow, buy a bunch more crap. Fill my apartment up, hopefully, with good crap. Um, uh, hmm. I guess that's it for today. I will yeah, I'll show you when I get this apartment set up even more. I'm planning on getting something a little different than the futon. Futon's very comfortable, but I want something off the floor. So these, these sell these little bed frame type things for futons. And I'm really, really contemplating on buying and uh, use that with this futon. Uh, so that's, I'll, yeah, I'll make another one of these when I get set up even better. And hopefully when I get my computer shipped over, I'll have a nice computer desk over there in that corner or, you know, that corner or that corner or something, wherever I feel like putting it. So I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep this as a bedroom or make this the entertainment room, because technically the you know, the, the cable and stuff is actually in that corner behind that pillow for the TV, and it would be nice to make this TV room. It's during the winter, the sun's going to be shining through that window and heating it up a little better, and it would be better to sleep in there, where it's going to be a little warmer. So. We'll see. I haven't quite decided. I might just switch them out every season. Who knows? So I kind of like metal room for sleeping. Okay. I will see you all later.